from hands in the dirt finna do another quick update on my garden uh, as you can see these are my red mustard greens I have came in and done two harvests on these they're still growing I need to come spray uh, some neem oil because something is eating them over here for my mustard greens I've harvested quite a bit of these they're still growing um, and I need to do the same with these come spray my baked collard greens, man, they have really jumped up. They're doing really well. And under there somewhere, you can see that I have my beets. Then this is a mulberry tree, fig tree, one fig left. My Japanese peppers. Uh, cabbage. Some more greens. These are uh, Georgia Southern color greens right here. How huge they are. As before, when I shot the other video, I said I was doing some succession growing. You can see that all the other greens that I planted, once these go out, the, uh, these will be coming in. Those are doing well. Here are my Georgia Southern. Um, color greens they're jumping up fairly well also let's go over here to my kale kale's coming in great this kale this kale that looks like a collard green is actually a portuguese kale it's coming in really well some more greens these are champion collard greens right here and these are the only ones I didn't plant from seeds. These are some type of uh, cabbage collard mix or something or the other. Not sure about those. Um, here on the fence post, I have uh, sugar snaps. Sugar snaps are coming in. And then right here, this is actually a uh, lima bean. Keep going. So my greens are coming in. I actually even planted some more in here. So I got greens everywhere. And once I come over here, I got kale, lettuce, more collard greens, more kale. Green beans right here ain't doing too well. I have harvest some. Back here, as you can see, I have uh, my bell peppers are still coming in. Plenty of bell peppers. These are turnip greens. Uh, my cauliflower, still haven't gotten ahead on them. So what I'm going to do, if I don't get ahead on them, what I'm going to do is just pick them and uh, cook them in with my greens. Some carrots that I planted. There's some basil that I planted from seed. More carrots. Lettuce, I got some radish in there. That's a quick update on all these. What's going on over here? And you can see all these totes that I have. I'm actually going to take these totes. I bought some and these right here. I was lucky to uh, be able to get these. Somebody was tossing these out and I got a bunch of them. And what I'm going to do, I've been piling my leaves up. And uh, it's supposed to rain in a couple of days. As soon as they get good and wet, I'm going to fill all these up with these leaves and you know with some soil and this and that so when the uh springtime come 
I'll mix it with uh, with uh, other soil and stuff to try to decrease the, my cost on soil because I'm going to do a lot of planting in these uh, totes. I'll be planting my sweet potatoes in the toes, uh, other potatoes, whatnot, uh, probably some squash, uh, just to give me a little bit more planting area. As of right now, I have one, two, three, four, five, six beds, and now seven. And so the rest of the stuff I'm going to actually put in totes, like I've actually did these trees and these big uh, containers. Um, I do have some lemon, pineapple, uh, I got mm, a mango and uh, avocados that I have actually grafted the avocados um, that I'm going to put in the greenhouse. Uh, I'll show that on the next video. I actually bought the greenhouse. I have it assembled, but I just don't have the cover over it yet. And I'll do that in the next video. So just a quick update on where I am as far as my garden is concerned. Thank you. And remember, if you have some seeds... Put them in the dirt.